goodness me, going back through that Some good shame. songs there. But you were watching that and said that's where it all kicked off in 1999. Yeah, Flying Without Wings was definitely, yeah, it was, we just kind of went into a different league of success all of a sudden with that song. We won record of the year that year, which was, you know, a big surprise for us. Um, and then it kind of, yeah, kicked off from there. Then we got Chris's number one that year. And, it just went crazy. How did it change then? How did, how did you feel that change for you as a band? It was kind of all new to us because we were only on the scene about six months. All our dreams came true. Like, it was just changed upside down. Um, for the good, though, it was amazing. Like, it was incredible. We worked 100 and th uh, 103 days straight that year around the time of Flying With The Wings. Not, like, literally not one day off. So it was, uh, well, you it was busy. You were exhausted. I remember seeing you during that time and you were all very tired. Sort of, oh. Yeah, yeah, we were. But, you know, we were, we were so excited. We were mm. doing... We wanted to be in a boy band and all that kind of stuff. And, as I said, all the dreams were coming true. So we kind of didn't think about it until we got home that Christmas and looked back over the kind of last year. Because the Christmas before that, nobody knew us. And that Christmas, everybody knew us. So it was, uh, it was an amazing year. 99 was an incredible year. Now, I know everybody asks it, and every time I see you, I ask, because everybody wants to know if you guys will get back together again. So let's get that question over and done with. I, I, you know, I think it's a question, of course I get asked a lot, because there's so many... We created so much history together, you know, as a band, um, and we had some amazing songs, but at the moment there's no plans. There genuinely is no plans for it, but, you know, you, you can't tell what the future will bring. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of fans that would love to see it, um, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see, I don't know. Well, we know a bit of what the future's bringing because, of course, you're going back out there on tour. Because the last time I saw you were starting out, and now you're going back because it was a huge sellout everywhere. Yeah, it was great. The first tour was really successful. So, oh, you know, it's, the fans are incredible. Like, you know, I did a, a radio interview yesterday morning, and there was like 5,000 calls or something to get on. Just, just fans from everywhere just, just wanting to ask a question or something like that. And they're the kind of things you don't realise. You know, you're doing a question or two, and you just, all these people trying to get through and stuff, they're just, they're amazing. They're why I'm sitting here. Are they, the, are they Shane fans or are they Westlife fans? I'd so say mo most you? of them are Westlife fans, yeah, without a doubt. Um, you know, I, I think when I do the live shows as well, it's, you know, it's important to have fun and introduce your own music too, but, you know, I do a lot of the Westlife songs as well because, you know, they want to hear Mandy or Uptown Girl, and it's amazing the difference when you do the show and you see people's faces lighten up because each one of those songs, like I was saying before, they, they have special memories for people um, and for me. So, you know... It's good too because your set list is quite, it's quite strong and you know you have lots of number one hits in there too so people are enjoying themselves and I'm enjoying myself. You so are, you're good. looking so happy. Uh, one of the loveliest things is that you took your family on tour with you, didn't you? What yeah. did they think of the tour bus? To look out at what, what you see, you know, your, your side of it. Um, so I brought them up in Birmingham and yeah, they love the tour bus. They're more excited about the tour bus <laughs> this time than probably my show but it's, uh, it's cool, it's double decker, it's got all this plasma screens and stuff on it. And, yeah, bunk beds and all that. So Can cool. I come next time as well? Absolutely. Well, there's ten bunks on it, so we've probably about four or five spare. Lovely. All right, I'll be there. Thanks all very good. much. No problem. Uh, OK, are you going to be in judges' houses? Tell me now, please. I don't know. I honestly haven't been asked. Um, I know he's doing the judges' houses next. Um, so, look, if I'm asked, of course, well, the last time... I think it was a few years ago. I'm sure he must have mentioned it to you. He must have said, Shane, come on. He hasn't, actually. That's the truth. He hasn't said it to me yet. You know, Louis one of those things you're doing judges' houses next Tuesday. That's oh, the kind really? of thing. Yeah, he said, we're going, this way. we're going to this place and we're doing it. So if he asked me, of course he'll do it. You know, it's... He's very excited about this year. The show is, is shaping up. He said it's... He said it's an amazing, amazing kind of lineup this year. So hopefully it'll be and a he, great show. He's pleased to be back. He is. He's very happy to be back. Yeah, I think he missed it last year. But I think everyone missed him too being on it. You know, he's, he's a great character on the show and he's great fun and he says it like it is, I suppose. And, Lovely. Um, it should be good. Oh, best of luck with the talk. Thank you. All the dates will very be on much. our website. Thank you. Lovely Thank to you, see you Gabby. as always. Thank you, Gabby. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe. I'm, I'm having the best time of my life at the moment now. Well, it started off, so we mentioned X Factor, and yes. then there you were. I remember that moment when Beyonce came out. Yes, yes. Beyonce. I know, right? I was very lucky, and I only found out the night before.